Hey everybody, um, I am here on my own today because I'm just going to be working on some painting today. Uh, if you guys came in for the stream yesterday on Whip Wednesday, you guys might have seen my pearl doll that I'm working on. It's actually right here. Let me grab it. So uh, I've been working on this pearl doll. It's not finished yet, obviously, but um, I've also been working on this drawing of Pearl that I'll show you guys in a moment. Here is a close-up of a bit of it. Let me actually zoom out so you guys can see the whole thing. So this is what I have so far. It's pretty much all I have is the pose and some of the colors mapped out so far, but um, I'm just going to like work on it a little bit. I'm probably not going to finish it today. Um, I just kind of want to work on the face a little bit. Maybe the hand or something. But um, I haven't done a stream like this before. So tell me what you guys think about it. And maybe we'll do more streams like this in the future if you guys are into it. So I can show you guys some of the concept work that I do for some of my dolls. Oops. Um, one of the reasons I don't do this very often is because of the fact that I don't, um, I don't really have a very good program for it. You guys might notice this is, um, this is GIMP instead of, uh, Photoshop or whatever. So, um, bear with me because of the limitations of the program that I'm using. Um, okay, so, um, by no means am I, like, very, very talented at digital art. I'm really, really just starting out, but, um, and I'm a lot more comfortable with, like, traditional, like, pencil drawing, so I do a lot more of my drawings that way, but I kind of just wanted to do this one this way just to try to get more practice at, um, at doing things, oh, that's too dark. Let me grab, uh, let me grab this gray here instead, actually. So, um, the thing that's kind of tough about drawing Pearl that I'm finding is because she's, like, pretty much just got a completely white skin tone, so it's really hard to get any shading on her. I think I am going to need a little bit of a darker gray. But um But yeah, I'm kind of liking what I'm go what I'm getting so far from this pearl. And you know what? This pearl isn't quite centered on her face. So, um, I kind of wanted to draw her in more of, like, a traditional, like, fencing pose. So that's kind of the aesthetic that I'm going for here. kind of wish I had some music to put on or something. Um, let me grab a headphones. Oh, there's nothing in there. There's nothing in there either. Let me find my headphones real quick, guys. I'll be back in a second. So I found my headphones. I'm going to try and plug them in so I could just put on some music without the speakers picking it up or anything. So let me just plug these guys in real quick. Thank you. 
Sorry about that, you guys. Okay. So... Alright, so I got some headphones plugged in. Alright, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just put on some random music. I probably should turn the volume down on the PC. Okay, so let me know if you guys can hear this and if it's too loud. Um, hang on, I haven't started it yet, so... <laughs> I'm just going to put on some random music like I use in videos. Alright, that sounds like it's pretty loud, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it down a little bit. Alright, let me know if you guys think that music is too loud. And I'm just going to start working on, on this pearl now. I think I need to center the pearl on her face a little better. I'm not sure if I'm into the lips being that pink. Hmm. I'm actually going to zoom in a little more. Oh, hey, it's Demon Lee. Hey, what's up? Nice to see you here. Hmm. 
I'm not quite sure what expression I want to give her, really, because, like, I kind of want it to look like she's facing the camera with the sword point. So, like, I kind of want her to be, like, staring down the camera, kind of. Ooh, I like that. Maybe that's a little too much. <laughs> These headphones are a little too big for my for my head or for my ears, so they kind of keep falling out a little bit. I think I want this a little bigger. Thank you so much, Demon Lee. And um, you're baking currently. I used to bake a lot, but my oven is broken, so I haven't really done it in a while, and I haven't gotten around to getting it fixed. But, like, uh, I wish I could. I wish I could bake. <laughs> That's actually my preferred way of cooking. So, like, it's pretty frustrating not being able to, not being able to do it. It was pretty tough to get the pose right on this pearl, though. Like, it took me a while. I was working on it, like, um, a little earlier in the morning. And I took a little break, and... I was going to do some more recording for the tutorial that I'm working on, but I just really just... I'm not feeling it today, so... <laughs> so I thought that I should just work on this piece a little bit more. I think I'm feeling her hair maybe like flipping up into her face here. Nice. I feel that demonly. <laughs> I'm okay on the stovetop, but I'm definitely a lot more comfortable with the oven. Mm-hmm. 
for sure. And I really, really like sweet snack things. So that's my other reason why I love baking so much because I mean, you know, cookies are my weakness. To bring some more of that hair down in front of the pearl. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do the doll pearls hair too because I do want to do it with this new method that I've been working on with making like the yarn wigs and stuff but it's such a weird shape that I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to pull it off. This pearl kind of looks like my mom a little bit, but like really, really, really pale. <laughs> I think it's maybe the nose and the eyes, maybe. It's like super hot in here, but I have to keep the door closed when I'm streaming. Otherwise, you guys will just hear nothing but freeway sounds. Mm, you know, I'm not sure I liked that one. Let's get rid of that curl. I think I just want to try to keep most of the curls at the very bottom and at the spot around the pearl. I kind of like the lips like that, but I'm not sure. Maybe I should add just a touch more color to them. Let me grab this pink. Oh, did I? I forgot to switch to the paintbrush. Okay. Let me just dab a tiny bit more pink on these lips. And I actually forgot to color her socks earlier too. So let me just do that real quick just to get some pink down here. Just gonna get a little bit of color in there and I can do the finer points of it later. I'm not sure about the ankle placement. I think I might have to put it a little further back just because her feet are so long. So I think maybe here would be better. And maybe there. So we could just slim that a little more. Okay. So let's get that pink. I have a little picture of Pearl up on the desktop that I'm referencing. Uh, let me have a look at how high her socks kind of are. Maybe something here, probably. This is a little too high too, so. Okay, so I think I'll just leave the socks at that for now. Let's go back to work on the face a little bit more. It's going to be tough to do the sword because she's got like this really, really pale skin and the sword I am going to make in silver, but I'm, I'm, I feel like it's going to be hard to differentiate the sword blade from her arm. 
Um, I'm using GIMP. It's a freeware program. It's like definitely not as advanced as Photoshop, but it's free. So, you know, that's what I'm using. I've had this program for a while and pretty much everything that I do that you would do with Photoshop, I do with this program. You can do pretty much, pretty much all the same things, but like, it's not as, it's, I guess it's not as good as Photoshop, but like, but it works fine for what I'm using it for. Okay. It's so hard to get detail when she's this pale. Hmm. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to manage that. Because I painted one picture of Pearl before and I was running into the same problem. And I think that most of how I got her detail was with using this smudging tool. Because it makes it a little easier to like squish all of the shadows into the spots where they need to be. And like the same thing with the highlighting. But it's like there's not very much nuance to the color that she is. Maybe I could just add a little bit of pink to certain spots just to like, I don't know, just to shade them a little bit. Or to like differentiate them. I'm just going to add a little bit of pink to her cheeks. Although she's supposed to be blue in her cheeks, isn't she? So let's actually grab this blue. And let me add some blue in there. And maybe the blue will actually help add a little bit of shadow. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I like that. Maybe it needs to be a brighter or a darker blue. I don't know. It's so hard to figure out what exactly it needs to like add some like shadows to it and some depth to it. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna add a little bit more white here. Hmm. Maybe if it were a darker shade of blue. No, you know what? No, I think maybe I should just use the other shade of blue. This one that I used for the sash. Maybe the brightness will add a little bit more contrast. I don't know. And then let's add some gray in there as well. Oops. <laughs> Whoops. I lost control of the of the mouse. But yeah, I've, I'm using a mouse to paint. I don't have any like tablets or anything like that or like <laughs> it's just 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 clicks. I think I do want a little more of that blue here.
I think I'm okay with that nose shape for now.
This needs to be a little bit more. Oh. Let's see. So this is supposed to be like a little skirt thing. I don't think I... I didn't draw that in last time, so... I just want to try to maintain like the skinny body type, but like, but still kind of make it look a little bit realistic. I think I need to draw the bow on her, so let's grab this other blue. So I kind of like roughly drew it on. Let's put like the knot right here. And the bow should be draping back over here. I kind of drew it too far back, I guess, when I was plotting out where it would go initially. So I'm going to get rid of this line here. Okay. So I probably just did the same thing. I think I made her too thick and then I just just erased part of her leg. So this is just all in the wrong spot, really. I'm just going to get rid of that whole thing and do it over again. Okay. So, 
it's kind of draping down and wrap up this way then we have another piece coming down here maybe two about here So somewhere around there. Maybe actually that would be good to make like folds in the fabric. Okay.
Oh, that's too big. Oh, that's why. Okay, let's... I feel like she's just looking way too, I don't know, chill. I think I have to just work on the expression.
Hmm. Not sure what I want to do to fix the expression on her face. Maybe we should give her a little smirk. And I kind of want her eyes a little bigger too, I think. Okay. And maybe widen this a little bit. I'm kind of liking that. Oops. Let's not do that. Okay. Okay. And I do kind of want it to be more straight down the middle of her head, too. Don't really want this to be angled. Okay, I feel like it's leaning a little bit this way, so let's push this a little further so that it looks a little more in the middle. I feel like her eyes have a more, I don't know, like a rounded at the top and like more flat at the bottom shape. Let's 
So let's try to bring that a little more down, I guess. Okay, that looks a little better, I think. Maybe this is a little too big on this side, though. I'm gonna bring it in a little. Maybe I'll fix those hairs in a minute. Let me just, let's just smooth them out on the side. Maybe we need some more white here on the chin. Okay, that's a little better. You know what? I feel like it would probably be easier to do the eyes if I just had a smaller brush. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's put that over there. Now I feel like she's kind of just looking off in a random direction. So I guess this is a little too far over that way. Hmm. I feel like I just need to get the shape of the eyes right because that's just not, she's just not looking in the right direction. So I'm just going to try to get the shape of the eyes right. Let's just do that. Okay, I just need the shape to be right before I can place anything else. Okay. Something like that. Okay. So I need it to have this sort of shape. Oh, my wrist is really starting to hurt from this. <laughs> Something like that, I think. Then I guess I just need the eyes to be facing. Hmm. Okay. I'm just going to figure out where I want her eye to be. I feel like that's too open. It's too big, right? Okay, well, let's do this then. Oh, wait. Okay. 
No, I didn't like that either. I guess it would be better to try to bring it up a little more. Okay. That looks okay, but I'm not sure if it'll end up looking okay after I put the <laughs> after I put the eyes on. I guess I probably also want to have a bit lower on this side as well.
Okay, I think that's actually the end of my playlist that I put on. Let me put on another one real quick. Okay, let's just put on these rando jazz songs now, I guess. And also this rando a cappella song. Okay, so where was I? That's right. That's why it looks like she's going that way, because the nose kind of looks like it angled toward that direction. And the mouth was a little bit too.
I'm starting to like how this face is looking. I'm having this problem where I keep liking this eye better than this eye. Okay, I think this one is a little too... Too low, maybe? It's definitely wider. Hmm, that's close-ish, but I think this pupil is too high on this side. Hmm.
There's definitely some weirdness going on with this one on that side. Okay. Hmm. I'm not like terribly good at symmetrical face things, so this is pretty challenging. Okay, I think I see what's going on here. I feel like her eyes are too wide right now. Like, I want them to have some more eyelid to them. It feels like they're completely open. I just, I don't know. I kind of want the eyes to be big, but like at the same time, if they're big, then it looks like they're just wide, wide open. And I don't want that. So I'm not sure what to do with the eyes. Okay, I kind of like that shape a little better. Hmm. Okay, maybe that's better.
Oh, hey, it's D. D go. What's up? I think I'm kind of happy with that. I think I'm happy with those eyes in that position, more so than I was with the other position. All right, let's color those eyes blue. Okay. Oh, nice. Just got home from work. Nice. Yeah, what time is it? It's about three. Okay. Well, I think I'll go on for a little bit, but I'm going to take a break for a little while and a bit because my hands are getting pretty tired. Because I'm actually using um, mouse and keyboard for this. Well, this is looking a little better than it was this morning, so that's good. I think I want to add a little bit of color to her eyebrows, I'm thinking. And then the other thing that I'm not sure about is um, whether or not I should give her eyelashes. But yeah, I was thinking about doing some more recording of voice work today, but I didn't end up doing it because I was really not feeling it today. So this is what I'm doing instead. Okay. Oh, it's five in Texas. Hmm. 
not a very big difference from where I am. Hmm. So I could also add some pupils to this. Let's make them. Let's try doing something like that, maybe. I'm starting to like how this is looking. <laughs> if you're not feeling it, you won't crochet. Yeah, same. Especially if my wrists are sore. <laughs> uh, which I'm getting close to that point with this. So I might stop in, in like, I don't know, maybe an hour or a half an hour. Or, I don't know. I don't know how much, lo how much longer I want to keep doing this for. But, um... But yeah, it would have been it would have been recording voice work today because I already did all the all the video for everything. But that's that's really just not what I wanted to do today. This is still it still feels like I'm being productive though since I'm working on that pearl. Okay. I'm getting pretty close to satisfied with the face, so. Oh, thanks for saying that it looks great, D. <sighs> and actually, let me zoom out just in case anybody didn't see the full pose that I'm working with. So here's what it uh, looks like when it's um, in its full pose. 
so far. I haven't really done much work on anything else except for the face, so that's why that's the most detailed thing. The eyes are just a little off, I think, but oh, it looks like that playlist ended too. Let me put on another And D says, that's too cool, thank you. You mean the pose, right? I was trying to go for like, uh, I guess, semi-accurate fencing pose. Which is like relatively hard to find online. I actually had to take a picture of myself doing the pose <laughs> to get it right. But, um, yeah, there's not a lot of accurate fencing poses online that are in at this angle so
Oh, hey, D, you're back. Nice. You didn't miss much. Hmm. Oh, I'm going to skip this song. It's not in theme. There we go. I didn't realize I had a slow jazz version of Silent Night. <laughs> Good luck with that D. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's going to be that's going to be annoying when I have to cook. <laughs> I've, like, not cooked entirely too often lately. Earlier I was telling Demon Lee <laughs> that my oven is broken, so it makes it way harder to cook because I'm way better at cooking with the oven than I am with the stovetop. So it's just frustrating <laughs> to, like, cook at all because, like, I don't know. I don't enjoy it as much and I'm not as good at it, so it's, like... There's almost like a little wrinkle over the other eye that I really want to try to put over this one, but I'm not sure if I can... Mm. Let's try to get a little bit more of a line around the top of this eye.
Uh, I'm so much happier with the way that this looks than I was earlier. I was having so much trouble with these eyes, which like, ob obviously, <laughs> eyes are always hard. <laughs> or at least they are for me. All right, I think this is looking pretty nice now. <laughs> uh. Well, you have to eat something. <laughs> I don't even have eggs. I can't even use that excuse. Or I can't even use that, like, <laughs> that strategy of just making eggs. What do I even have? Because uh, I haven't done any planning and yeah it's it's pretty hot here but I'm sure it's way hotter down there <laughs> in Texas so I mean huh. but yeah I feel like it's too hot to cook too and it's definitely not 101 here so <laughs> So, I hope you get your, your burgers, D. I don't know if I liked that. Okay. Let's just go up this way. I'm not even sure I really like this curl here. Let's make it a little smaller, I think. Maybe like that.
Okay. I think I'm into that. Let me... Let's fix this cheek a little bit. Probably would have been a little easier to draw the pearl first than to put the hair on top of it, but, you know, that's not what I did. Also, maybe it would be better to not cover too much of the pearl. Oops.
Okay, I'm just gonna clean some of the hairs off of this pearl just so that there's only a few covering it. All right. All right. I think the pearl looks pretty nice now. So I guess I should work on the hair a little bit more around the bangs. <sighs> My hand is getting real sore. I might take a break from this pretty soon. How long have we been going for? Two hours, geez. I did almost finish with Pearl's face, though, so that's good.
Okay. <clears throat> Uh, freaking D, that sounds too good. You can't you can't tempt me with that right now. Uh <laughs> uh Well I think I will take a break from this now, but let's look at what it looks like currently. That's all the work that I've done really is just on the face and the hair. I'd say that that was a pretty okay amount of progress. It still looks like one eye is maybe a tad bigger than the other, so maybe I can work on that a little bit more. Um, let me know if you guys like this streaming style, though, because this is the first time that I've done this before. So um, if you guys want me to do more of this type of thing while I'm um, designing dolls and stuff, like I can work on more concept art for some of my dolls like on stream again in the future if you guys are into that um but i guess for now that's pretty much it so um i'm gonna go ahead and save this and i guess that is all for me today so Thanks for watching, everybody, and um, have a great rest of your day, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!